going all right. Day two, um, you know, everybody's excited. It's, it's easy to be excited early on, but um, our guys look good, uh, moving around well. You know, just having that spring foundation to build on has uh, been pretty exciting for these first couple of days. So, you added a guy like Kavaris Hall. What did you see from him in the first couple of days? Uh, you know, I don't like to give out too much credit in t-shirt days on the first couple of days, but he's he's looked good. Um, you know, things that I'm asking him to do. He is a student of the game. He will go watch film. He'll come back. He'll text me. He'll ask questions. Um, you can't ask for anything better, but it helps when you're 6'2". Uh, with long limbs, you know what I mean? So um, he, he's he's impressed the first couple of days. When you're coming in and, and coaching a position group that was maybe seen as a as a weakness uh, of the team last year, how did you kind of approach? Did you look at a lot of film from last year? Did you kind of try and give those guys a clean slate and with you and, and to kind of work with them that way? Uh, first and foremost, clean slate uh, for sure. But uh, I watched every rep that they took. Um, once I told Coach and, and accepted the position here, I started watching every rep that I could of those guys to see what their strengths, what their weaknesses were. Um, and what we're going to do is pinpoint those weaknesses and try our best to make them strengths. Um, but I've told them, too, that the outside perception and, the, you know, whoever perception is that you are the weak link. So you can either live with that or we can do something about it. And, and uh, we're going to do something about it. So. Uh, you spoke this summer about uh, Armani and the work that he's put in mm -hmm. to be, you know, more confident leader. Um, how has he looked the first couple of days, and are you seeing his confidence help him even more? I think he's been very confident. You know, probably about midway through the spring up until now. You know, I think he's looked like what he was maybe two years ago. I know he had had a, a couple good seasons ahead of last year, and so um, that's promising. He's the older guy in the group. Um, the onus is on him uh, as well as myself to make sure that we're where we need to be. Whether he's taking every rep or whether he's standing next to me, uh, he should be an extension of me, and uh, he, he's done a really good job in taking the lead in that regard and um, holding our guys accountable in our room. Coach Likens kind of talked about how there's been a, you know, a lot of transfers that have come in you know, from spring to fall, mm -hmm. um, but there's also kind of a race to figure out, okay, who are my starters going to be, mm -hmm. and let's, let's get them reps. And do you kind of feel maybe a similar time period pressure a little bit to find the guys, and, or is it a little bit different maybe between receiver and corner? You know, the biggest thing for us is just uh, who, who are the four to five guys that we can go into a game on a weekly basis and feel good um, with our depth at those you know, three groups is what it really breaks down to. Um, we're going to play, you know, m more than two guys, um, please, Lord willing, um, this season. And so uh, we need to find out who that group of four or five guys are going to be. Um, everybody's a one right now. So when you go out there, you take reps, you, you take them as if you were a one um, because you're going to be evaluated as such. And then what will happen is um, the way they're graded at practice, the way that they're critiqued, all of those things will shake out. But everybody needs to understand I'm competing against me more than I'm competing against the guys in that group. So. Just what's it like going against this receiver crew yep. uh, every day in practice, and it, there's just from one all the way all the way down. You know, I, some people may say, "Oh man, it's you know dog days going against." Our guys. I'm excited about that. Um, two things: one, I'm a competitor, and we're competitors in our room. But two, uh, if the guys at practice are pushing you hard as or harder than the guys you're going to see on Saturday, you should be ready to go on Saturday. And so, uh, Rasheed Rice is you know top receiver in the nation. You know, and if anybody doesn't believe that, they're crazy. Come out here and watch. Um, but but to be able to line up against him, uh, Jordan Curley, you know, uh, our guys that we've added in, in Mooch as well as um, um, Jake Bailey, you know, those guys move around. And then you got Bo, you know, you're not going to have to face on a weekly basis maybe a guy as physical, as big as him. And so for me and, and as well as Coach Likens, like our competition is hard nosed. We're going to go at it. But at the same time, it should be iron sharper than iron and not the other way around. So On that, on that note, um, how much, is there ever a moment in, in maybe spring or in fall with, with Bo Corrales where it was like, oh man, that's just a play that he jumps up and mosses? And, you know, was there ever a moment that you're like, man, that guy's kind of a problem for, for corners? Never. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, he presents, every one of them present a different set of challenges with Bo's size as well as his catch radius ability. Um, you know, he, he puts you in some tough situations, but, um, you know, we got tricks for guys like that. You know, we, we, we do some things differently, but. Again, I think it puts you in those situations where that's a game rep at practice. And as many game reps, Saturday reps that you can get Monday through Friday, you'll be in a good shape.